Welcome to part one of the Core 2 video tutorials. These tutorials will give you the information you need to get started with Core 2 right away. The features and workflow in Core 2 have been optimized to make it the world's most powerful music workstation. Let's take a look. Let's see how easy it is to find the right sound in Core 2. Core's browser lets you quickly dial in exactly the type of sound you're looking for without having to audition every patch. Let's say we want to load a lead sound that can really cut through a mix. I'll click on Synth Lead, Monophonic, and Bright. You can see the list of search results getting smaller, and we are guaranteed that each of these sounds will match my search criteria. So let's select this sound, Caved Voice. Now when I select this sound, you'll notice that it shows all the attributes that are attached to this sound. For instance, I can see that this is a fat lead. This can give you further guidance before loading a sound. So you could, for example, choose not to load this sound if you were looking for something thinner. Let's go ahead and load it. You can double click the sound and it will be instantly loaded. Alternatively, I could have dragged and dropped the sound into the global section to get the same result. If you don't hear anything, make sure that your audio interface is properly configured. This can be done via the audio MIDI settings in Core's options. More information on how to do this can be found in the printed setup guide that ships with Core 2. Now that we've got a sound, let's hear what we can do with it. But it wouldn't be much fun if we had to use our mouse to adjust parameters like this in Core 2, and that's where the hardware controller comes in. Pressing the sound button on the controller will provide us with this same view directly on the Core 2 LCD. What you're seeing and hearing right now is Core 2's sound variations at work. Sound variations are just that, distinct deviations from the sound's original parameter settings that can be either subtle or quite extreme. Each of the variations can be selected directly, or we can morph between them as heard earlier. When morphing, each of the core controller's knobs represents one variation, such that turning a given knob morphs smoothly into the corresponding variation. Now it's time to give our sound a personal touch. Let's switch to the control page for our sound by pressing the control button on the core controller. The control page is where we can tweak our sound's parameters in real time. You can see each of the available parameters in the global section of the Core 2 software. But more importantly, this same layout is available directly on the Core 2 controller itself. Let's tweak our sound. Up to this point, we've only seen the global section and the Core 2 browser. But there is also another very powerful view within Core, the sound matrix. Here we can see the sound we loaded earlier, and it's sitting in its own audio channel. Now we can have as many of these audio channels in parallel as we wish. So we can use this to build complex multi-instruments. The signal flow in each channel passes from the top to the bottom. So for now, let's focus on the area directly below the current sound, because we would like to add an effect. We can use the browser to find an effect in exactly the same way we found a sound earlier. I'll hit the X button to clear out my previous search, and then I'll change to the Effects view. Then I'll select Delay, then Modulated Effects Delay, 
to get something with some motion to it. Let's say we also want our sound to come from Native Instruments Guitar Rig. So I'll just type Guitar Rig into the text search field. The text search field can be used in addition to the categorical search, or by itself if you, for instance, know the exact name of the patch you're looking for. Let's load this one, Huge Playground. Double-clicking always loads objects directly into the selected slot, but you can also drag and drop a sound or effect directly into a different slot if you like. One more thing, like core sounds, effects also have their own sound variations. In this tutorial, we've shown you how to quickly find, load, and tweak a sound. The tutorials that follow will get more in-depth into topics such as creating your own sounds, importing presets, using Core in a sequencer, and using Core Live. Stay tuned.